in today's video, we're going to show you five things to do in Changu. Starting with bounce ball. Next up is Kohaku, Bali. So this was conveniently located just down the road from us, but is definitely worth stopping by if you're staying in Changu. This place was incredibly zen, full of stone, very calming. And these crystals here, they are edible. You can buy them in boxes to take away or try them there, which is exactly what we did. We paid 190,000 and that got tea for two and five of the crystals to taste. So the way that they make these crystals is by using a mixture of sugar and agar to result in a crunchy outside as seen here and a mildly sweet inside. Absolute fail right there, but that's totally fine. Love Anchor is a gorgeous little market here in Changu, right on a sunny street surrounded by its beautiful cafes. So this is the sort of place that you come to if you're after something relatively specific. There are a few perfumes, a lot of jewelry, there is clothing, and along with the clothing there is a bunch of homeware style home goods and a bunch of souvenirs that you can take back home with you. At the end of the day, at this market, you're going to be here for a good time, not a long time. What's up guys, here we are at Finn's Recreational Club. There are many things to do here. There is a massive soccer field. They do heaps of friendly games with other sports, not just soccer. Um, there is a big water park right next door. We are yet to try it, but it looks amazing. Perfect if you've got kids and want something to do. Um, you can also get a range of different food and drinks here. There is a gym, there are massages, there's also co-working spaces if you're looking for somewhere a bit more quiet. I've really got a lot of things here. So guys, one other really cool thing about Finns is that on a Thursday night, for free, they've got a different movie on the outdoor projector here. With bean bags everywhere and surround sound, they've also got popcorn and ice cream you can get. If you've got kids, it's a really cool place to come hang out. Okay guys, welcome to the location of the last thing on our five things to do in Changyu. This is, well this is a walkway, but we are about to be in Tanalot's temple. We will show you it very shortly. It was 60,000 to get in, which is around, around six NZD. Um, and you get to walk through a bunch of cool shops down a massive walkway to get to the temple. So we will go and show you the temple now. Guys, uh, upon walking into the temple here, we've just come across this coffee place that sells Luwak coffee, uh, Kofi Luwak which is uh, the coffee of Indonesia. Check it out. Tanalot directly translates to rock in the middle of the ocean. Legend says, way back when in the 15th century, this particular rock that was moved here from the beach by a guy using spiritual power. So, I mean, this place does have a wedding. 
yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. You know, there's quite a few people here, but it's still quite peaceful and calm. Everyone's quiet and just, it has a really like meditative vibe, I yeah. guess. I also want to add that it is a Hindu temple as well. Yes. Uh, one of the most famous Hindu temples in Bali, so it's definitely worth checking out, but it's also more to know like a little bit of the history behind it. Okay, so here is also something called Ular Suki, Susi, um, which is a holy snake. And the gentleman that we were just talking to said that the snakes guard the temple. And so there was two there, but he said there's many more in and around the temple itself. So the point of the snakes is to guard the temple. So you really don't want to go anywhere around here without a guide. Okay, there's one there. Stop. <laughs> Brian. Brian. Thanks,